we've seen how to work with data frames in memory. But how do we get them in memory? In the Intermediate Python for Data Science course, we used read CSV to load a data frame from a comma-separated values file. For instance, here we use the file users.csv to create a data frame called users. The file records visitors to a blog for a band and who signed up for a newsletter. By tracking where visitors come from, this information can help design tools later. Data frames can also be rolled by hand using dictionaries. Remember, dictionaries, or associative arrays, are a core data structure in Python. Here, we construct a dictionary of lists with the same user's data. The keys of the dictionary data are used as column labels. Notice, with no index specified, the row labels of the data frame are integers 0 to 3 by default. Let's build the data frame users up in a different way, using conforming lists cities, signups, visitors, weekdays for the column data. It is useful to be able to build data frames from lists because lists are a common data structure in Python. It's natural that we might receive data accumulated in lists. We can then define two other lists, list labels containing the column labels and list calls containing the column entries for each column. Notice list calls is a list of lists. Using Python's list and zip functions constructs a list called zipped of tuples, column names and columns, to feed to the dict command. Calling dict zipped creates a dict data which is then used with pd.dataframe to build the data frame. Let's look again at broadcasting, a convenient technique in NumPy and Pandas. With the data frame users in memory, a new column, say fees, can be created on the fly. By using the new column label fees and by assigning the scalar value zero, the value is broadcast to the entire column. Broadcasting saves time in generating long lists, arrays, or columns without loops. Broadcasting is not restricted to numbers. Here, we create a dictionary data with column labels height and sex as keys and a list and a single character string m as values. When the dict data is used to create data frame results, the value m is broadcast to the entire column. Remember, we can change the column and index labels using the columns and index attributes of a pandas data frame. We can assign lists of strings to the attributes columns and index as long as they are of suitable length, that is, the number of columns and rows respectively. It's time for you to practice using other data frame construction techniques, broadcasting and relabeling.